Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, today we're going to be turning ourselves into a zombie, and I'm going to teach you exactly the process of making all of this, all these layers. I compressed them into one, but I'm going to show you each of them. I used the burn tool, I used overlay, and I went to the internet, of course, and got some graphics. And we did revisit the eraser tool, and we played a little bit with some transparencies. So this is my original image. It's my ugly mug right there, looking all sexy as usual. And when you bring this one up, there you have it. So there's the um. A regular, well, there's the zombie one, and there's my regular one. Now, first things first, I'm going to show you every single step of the way, but before I do so, I'm going to delete my uh, my new layer, and I'm going to stay with just this layer. I want to fix it up, so I'm going to go to Image, Auto Tone, Image, Auto Contrast, Image, Auto Color. In Photoshop CS6, I don't like the color one. I'll go back that way. I'll do the color one. Edit, redo. Well, these are just preset in Photoshop CS6. You can just automatically adjust things. If you want to do the levels, you can go into other sections also for the adjustments, and it has an auto section for levels and all that. We have our image now ready for editing. I like to duplicate it, so this way I have a backup. First thing I want to do is I want to put a texture on my face. I'm going to go to the Internet really quickly, not for splattering. I opened up my searches already, so this way I shortened it for you guys. I typed in a tree bark texture. Make sure you're specific with your searches, otherwise computers are stupid. They're only as smart as a person that programmed it. And if you don't put the right stuff in the search, you're going to have a really narrow search. right? It's like asking, where do you live? And someone's saying, Earth. Be real specific with your searches. So I want tree bark texture. Lo and behold, I have tree bark texture. I'm going to highlight it, and I'm going to copy the texture. I'm then going to go into Photoshop, and I cannot paste the texture, which is OK. So as we know this sometimes is an issue so I'm gonna hit well first of all can I highlight the whole image can I copy this and can we go into Photoshop file new paste no well let me paste it as usual and this happens it's fine so I'm gonna go back to the image itself and I'm gonna drag it to my desktop Sorry about this, guys. This does happen on occasion, and I will get to the bottom of it. I'm going to drag this right to my desktop if it will let me, which it won't. And that's fine, too. It wants to play hardball. Okay. Not a problem. Anyhow, we have the image here. Hit print screen. And we'll go to edit paste. Great. So we're going to crop this from right here. Let's just use the rectangle ellipse tool and we'll just cut this portion of it. That's fine. Edit, cut. I don't need this anymore so I'll throw this away. Paste it in. Now make it bigger so it kinda covers your face. This is gonna be the texture of the zombie and we'll stretch that out a bit right about there click your move tool hit apply now we've got the zombie texture lower the opacity of it a lot that's pretty good we're gonna use the eraser tool here's the eraser tool make the diameter bigger even bigger than that right about there is fine and let's start erasing you only erase the edge get close enough where you can see what's going on move tool when you need to and you're going to erase the edge really quickly. Starting to erase here. Get in the hair. Only thing we want this on is our skin. We only want this bark to be located on our skin. So erase the hair, little follicles, things of that nature. Right around over here. Move tool. Move it over here. All right, there we have it. Erasing again. I don't go too close to my head, but you do need to get in there. And get into here, go around the ear with the eraser tool. I'm using a soft edge, by the way. I'm not using a hard edge and I'm coming in here and yes you do need to get all of the clothing and everything get all of that texture off the clothes as well okay we'll back out
Okay. Move tool. Get it closer. Starting to get a texture on our body. Keep erasing, though. Keep erasing the parts that we do not necessarily need. All right. There we have it now. From this part, the opacity, you could bring it up a little bit. That's too much. You want to be able to see parts of your skin. Right about there is good. All right, now we got to get into the eyes, the mouth. The mouth should not have anything in there. So we'll erase this part of the mouth as well. Get it in there. Up top, the eyes. Lower the diameter of your eraser tool to about there. Give the eyes back. Let them breathe. Let them see what's going on. They got to see through the bark because that's a texture that goes over it. That's legit. All right, I'm happy with that. My nose does have a couple of holes here. There you have them. We'll thing there, a little bar. Oops, we'll control. We'll control Z that. All right. So there we have it. All right. Let me back up now. Let me hit View Fit on Screen. All right. Now it's starting to come to life. So we're going to take this image now on layer four. I'm going to call it Bark. And in layer four, we're going to go to Overlay. Now, that bark is overlaying on my face, and if I bring it up top, there it looks like that's pretty freaky. If I lower the bark, that alone works, but I'm going to lower this, and we're really going to develop this. You know, I chose a really good piece of bark. I'm very fortunate. So this image already is starting to really look like it's working really good. Now, um, the face, this is the fun part. This is why I told you to duplicate it. For the face part, we can get kind of a little bit closer right about here. Click your move tool, bring them down. This is the burn tool right here. Oh, sorry. This is the burn tool. You're going to go into your face now, and you're, start, you're going to go into this layer, which is, call it burn. And this is the original, which I'll call me. Actually, I'll call it original. Always good to name your layers exactly what they should be. For the burn one, I'm going to start to burn parts of my face now and make it darker. And you're going to see it come darker. Now the cool thing, well, with zombies is their face is all sucked out and drawn and they just don't get sleep. They look like they need intervention. So you're going to just keep going around the eyes and it's very easy to make me look like I don't get sleep because I really don't. All right. Um, got a little 10 month old boy at home and things are crazy. I love it. So we keep erasing around the eyes. Now, this is just coming to life now. Oh, I did forget to do something. I should go into the bark, and you want to make sure your hair can come through a little bit. You want to see a little bit of your eyebrows and things of that nature. All right, now I'll go back into the burn, and I'll just keep burning what I just did because, oh, sorry about that. Into the burn tool of this one. There it is. Uh, eraser, sorry. Burn. There it is. And we're going to keep burning the skin of our eyes, bringing it down, feather the burn a bit more out, good, and this side too. The burn really does a lot for this image. It makes it uh, stand out a heck of a lot more, okay? I'm not going to do too much more of the burning because if I do, it's going to take up too much time. You get the idea how the burn tool works and you get the idea how the bark works now. Now let's get some blood. I took the liberty of going to the internet and I went and got some blood. Found some cool splatters. I like there was one up top that I really was uh, particularly fond of. Of course it's not coming up again. Where there? Where were you? Where's my splatter of blood that I absolutely adore? There it is. This is it. This is a good splatter. I'm going to take it. I'm going to right click and copy it. Hopefully it will let me put it into Photoshop this time. Edit, paste, oh, wouldn't you know it let me put it in. I'm so excited. So let's get close. You're going to use this tool now. Go to the eraser, the magic eraser, uh, background eraser rather. Nope, sorry, I lied. It's the magic eraser. Click and it erases backgrounds, people. All right, so you click here and the background's gone. Magic erase those. You know what you should do? Take your layer one, which should be called blood. And I'll move blood over my mouth so I can see the white that I want to get rid of. There's a magic eraser. Erasing these little areas of blood. Okay. Taking them off. Okay.
legit. I'm okay with that. These little white spots, they might work. Maybe they're little pus pockets or something on this zombie, right? So now, I'm going to back out of view, fit on screen, or control zero. And I'm going to take that blood, and I'm going to go to edit, free, transform, and make it just a little bit bigger. It looks a little blurry right now, but that's okay. Once you hit the move tool and apply it, now the blood is splattered on my face, which doesn't look too convincing. So I'm going to get a little bit closer to it. And I'm just going to use the regular eraser tool, but I'm going to soften the edge of that with like a number 59. And I'll make 59 a little bit bigger. And I'm going to erase parts of the blood that I don't want to have like so blatantly out there. And definitely not over my mouth at this point. Kind of like that. And now you have the blood. You have the blood over you, right? And you can duplicate this layer. And now you have two bloods. And you can make blood and put blood almost any way you needed to around your body. So that's the first thing with the blood. Blood is real easy to do. All right? It's kind of corny when you have two things of blood. But it does... Uh, let me back out so we could see everything. All right. Move you. All right. So you can duplicate the blood. And you know what you should do is hit Control T. Make this blood a little bit of a different size. And perhaps you would want to put this blood maybe underneath the eyeball or something. All right. And hit the Move tool and apply. And there's your blood over the eye. The eyes, there's two different things you want to do. There's two ways you could do it. You can either go like this. Use the rounded lips tool circle your eyeball on this one and you go to your original layer go to edit sorry make it bring it to life so you could see it and you're gonna go to edit copy edit paste take this layer bring it all the way up top double click it call it left eye now in this layer I just made it's just an eyeball it's just this eyeball right here of my own eye but check it out in my left eye I can hit control U, uh, B and I could change it to make it red and I can go to highlights and make it more red and I can go to shadows and make that sucker really red alright so that's one thing one way you could do it you could either do the same thing I did to this eye or you could duplicate this eyeball and bring it on over here and now you got two red eyes Obviously, you're going to need to get into here, and you're going to need to go to Edit, Free Transform, and bring it up so it matches. What I would do is also, I would also lower the opacity of it so it works, and I would soften the edge with a smaller diameter soft edged eraser tool. And you could also move it a bit to the left. That's good. And when you double click, there you have it. And now backing out, in hindsight, there's myself transformed into a zombie. And now I want to show you something. Let me go to, all right, wonderful. Let me go to view, fit on screen. There's my original. I'm sorry, excuse me. There's my zombie. And there's your original, people. And that took all of 13 and a half minutes. All right. Enjoy. And God bless. Thank you so much.